Hey, guys, like we found someone. Uh, Nikki Starlight, right? Please, call me Nikki. Like she was the guitar ghoul's girlfriend. So why are you here, Miss Starlight? Like you, I'm trying to find out what's happening here. I can tell you this much. The guitar ghoul would never harm anyone. He I couldn't like her. possibly she looks cool. be behind this. Even though the clues say otherwise? Help! That sounds like Daphne. Daphne? It sounds like she's in the circus area. This is a tour album for a band called Deaf Potatoes. Hey, doesn't the lead guitarist look like Alvin Weiner? Deaf Potatoes. Okay, so that's, that's the way into the circus That seems to be part tag. of some food that stand decoration. Good. Maybe it's a clue to the guitar oh, ghoul's giant tomato slice. This and seems to be part of the park's electrical system. Maybe the guitar ghoul used it to control the attractions. Perhaps. Oh, okay. This is a key to a souvenir stand. Maybe that's where the guitar ghoul is hidden. Got springy again. Oh, we're over here. You don't want to talk to me? Okay, there we go. I thought she was with you guys. Shaggy, Scooby, check out the circus. We've got to find her. Definitely get kidnapped in the first one. Like, Ooh, I got an onion. Ooh, I like onion. Onion's delicious. up here what is this there's nothing up here oh never mind we got that so that's one two there's a hamburger on top over here Hello, Scooby -Doo. come on scooby we've got to find a way into the circus oh no well Oh, clowns. You're a good dog. Yes, you are. Dog? Where? Dog? Where? <laughs> okay, so we got two, three. Carrots! And then the last one should be a souvenir stand? Over here? More like a food stand. Why? Hey, Scooby Doo! What's up, Scooby Doo? Hi! <laughs> Hello! I oh, know, this is the souvenir stand. What's up here, though? I don't. I didn't see anything. up here. We're going to, going to go to the circus in the next one. <laughs> oh, we have to, like, trapeze our way in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. In the next one, we're going to the circus tent, and we're going to fight the boss. Which is probably going to be the guitar cool. Or no, they usually have something extravagant, so it might not be the guitar cool. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, that looks like where the boss fight is. 
So, hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Scooby-Doo Unmasked. In the last one, we helped save Shaggy from falling down into a water slide. In this one, we're going into the tent to save Velma. Uh, Daphne, not Velma. Velma doesn't get kidnapped. He knows not to. Okay, I remember being getting frustrated with this one. Zoinks, like look it's just Scooby. very long Daphne's or something. In a cage. Shaggy, Scooby, over here! You go on and uh, selling... try to find a way to reach that cage, Scoob. Who keeps selling all these villains uh, for cages to keep Daphne in? Daphne's cage warehouse. Yikes! Oh, Dang, it's so strong. I bet they killed me once. But... I don't know how to deal with them now. Spiders. Cute. Dooby dooby doo. Having animals is illegal. Having the circus now. This is good. Do we want to do that? Is there anything that we're missing? Your mouth doesn't move, my guy. Oh, clowns. Trapezic cannonball clowns. Whoa! <laughs> I think they throw those... whatever they are at me. Okay, well... They didn't even look like they attempted to attack, so that's good, I think. Okay, I think we want to take care of these. Try and get some of this. We're definitely going to need it at some point, so we might as well take care of it. combo. <laughs> okay. They make little galloping noises. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think we were close enough to grab that. Oh, this is where we're gonna have to do this. Oh no, evil clown! Right? Freaking evil clowns being evil clowns. Clowning around. I haven't been able to attack us yet, so. That's good. Right. Like, we got the clue all the way in the beginning. 
Menacing? He was just kind of standing there and then say, Whoa! Maybe I'm just like really fucking good at this game. So they just, they can't handle me. <laughs> that has to be it, right? Obviously. There, why are those oh, Clowns. Do some trapezing. I keep seeing TikToks and stuff of uh, Circus LA. And I'd love to see that, but I'm guessing it's very expensive and just in very specific places. So I don't think I ever will, sadly. But I think it would be really cool. Scuba snacks because we're not hurt. <laughs> oh. Oh, that'd be terrifying. Go, 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 go. Oh. oh, they're finally attacking, I think. Man, congrats. But you're dead now, so <laughs> get wrecked. The way we started, we want to go this way. Did we get hurt? We're gonna grab the Scooby Snacks anyway. It's not like we're gonna come back Scooby here. Snacks. Some of them. Or like one of them. So there's that, I suppose. But I know we're gonna need a lot of a little goopy mother for this, so. What is that? Oh boy, Scooby Snacks! Scooby Snacks! Oh, 
Dooby dooby doo! Or just, is this just to go back? For funsies. Okay, this is just to go back for funsies. I'm not standing on there. Why does this place have so many giant fans? Is that how he gets around? Giant fans? Okay, I get it. I, I, I understand. It's not like I'm going to remember any of that. How do we the other side of the tent? Oh, no. Bam! Good song, go on. We bounce on top of this. Ooh. Oh, okay, they pop. God, we're gonna miss. I really want to get the trap, but I don't know if we're gonna. Is that a banana? I want the banana. I like bananas, obviously. <laughs> banana! Mmm! Banana! Is that something over there? Or is that where we started? That might be where we started. Pop those balloons. See what happens if we get all the trap pieces. And it'll determine if I want to go back to the do first we, one to get the last go. trap piece. <laughs> For that one. Park one's fun. Because the amusement park one in uh, Cyber Chase made me really happy too. But I think it might have been because it also had like a spooky clown one. Or not a spooky clown, like a haunted house little segment, which was really cute. I say cute, I just really liked it. Okay, can we get you closer? Oh, they're microphones! Oh, that makes sense. What is this, an apple? I found an apple! Like apples. Apples are fun. The, I really like the design in this. A lot of platformers like 3D platformers now where you like they're just like levels floating in the middle of space or like a background or a sky but like oh, this feels oh, complete like sure a lot of this is just floating in midair but it feels like we keep changing uh where we are and we're in the same level like it may be a big tent but it actually feels like it actually feels like it's a big tent rather than it just feeling. Oh, I didn't know there was a gap there. Let me try to. It feels like we're in a giant tent. 
rather than we're just floating in some level in the middle of space that's themed like a tent. It actually feels like we're in a giant tent right now. And with the water slide level, it felt like we were in a giant oh, water no. Like water park. Oh, they're blue now. Or purple. And every time we go into a new area, we end up looping back around and it feels like one big place. Like with the haunted house part. Oh! I didn't think we were close enough to that. Like in the haunted ho house uh, level, it felt like a giant amusement park haunted house. Like there was a lot of platforming and high up and we couldn't fall, but it still felt like a haunted house. So in something like uh, Mario Odyssey, for example, to me, those levels just, they didn't feel complete. Like, they just felt like they were floating in space. Especially when you got to, like, especially when you went to the edge of the map, it just felt like you were floating in space. It didn't feel complete. Instead, oh. like, I think Mario Sunshine does this really well. It, the level design in Mario Sunshine is, like, really good because it feels like you're actually in that place. It feels like you're actually in Isle Delfino. Um, Oh, I like. Ooh. It feels like you're actually in Isle Delfino, running around, doing all this stuff, going to different places on Isle Delfino. Uh, one level that did it really well in Mario Odyssey actually was the green level, the towery level. Ooh, but. Bob, oh, Scooby Snacks. I felt like a lot of levels in Mario Odyssey, such as, like, the desert level or the food level, just felt like you were floating in space and the background was just themed towards where you were. Which it was. That's what it was. It didn't feel like a complete level. Okay, I'm gonna stop my little tangent. I'm just saying, I just really like the level design of this. I like when something feels like you're actually there, rather than it feeling like it's a level in a game. Even though that's what it is. <laughs> Plants and sausages? Oh my god. We're getting all the delicious food. You've got to get me out of here, Scooby! I'm on my way. I'm gonna get you. Are we like right there now? Oh, no. Okay, we got all the um clues. I'm on my way, Rafty. We're right there. We're right here. Oh, she's gonna like zip line away. Daphne, no. You did it, Scooby Doo! Now hook the cage to the cage. Oh, okay, we're gonna do it. I thought she was gonna zoom away and we were gonna have to like chase after. Okay, now I'll activate this. It's good thing it's going slowly. It's gonna run into Shaggy. Shaggy! everything we found everything in the amusement park like all together yes we found the traps we found the clues we found the food okay we didn't get everything yet because we got to get stuff that's gonna unlock from these clues but after we get those this we got is everything. the music for an old guitar ghoul hit 
funny. It's attributed to N S. What's that? I was gonna say Natasha Leone, but a that doesn't ball. end with S. <laughs> but Maybe this comes from a midway yeah. attraction. Maybe it's a clue to the guitar ghoul's hideout. This is the hammer for the strongman's like bell. Perhaps the guitar ghoul hid something important in there. Oh, finally, we're gonna actually. This is a brochure for a circus that. sideshow. Perhaps we'll find clues to the guitar ghoul's identity there. Cool. Lots We've got enough clues. Now we need to find which ones are real. They're all real. I wonder how the guitar ghoul managed to sabotage all rides without anyone noticing. Without anyone noticing? With a spare surveillance tape? Interesting. Hall? The videotapes show an intricate network of tunnels connecting all rides. Like Disney The World. guitar ghoul must have World. used them to move World. around unnoticed. Okay. There's something strange about that Alvin Wiener. I wonder how he's connected to this. The band. Scooby, you won't believe this. Alvin Wiener was lead guitarist of Duff Potatoes, a one-hit wonder band who once opened for the Guitar Ghoul. Who once opened for them? So is it actually him and he's salty? I wonder what Nikki's real relationship to the Guitar Ghoul is. Guess nice. what, Scooby? According to the name on this sheet music, Nikki wrote the Guitar Ghoul's biggest hit. Oh, Nikki wrote it. Okay. I got it, Scooby. I know who the real culprit is. Let's find the others. The Guitar Ghoul is about to be singing a new tune because this mystery is almost solved. So, you kids think that you can catch me? Think again. It's gonna be made out of mother too. Cool is unstoppable. Be warned, my music is always loud, and the hits never stop. He's got to be broadcasting from the House of Mirrors. Let's go. Mm. All right, let's get this. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, okay, okay. That's what that that's used for. It's like. Still never found anything up there. It's because this. Gooby, gooby, go. Gold bat. Bat costume machines have been upgraded to giant bat. Oh my gosh. Gore. Okay, where's um. Everything. Oh, we're going in the house of mirrors. Fun. No, but I want to find that machine. Then we're gonna get the rest of the food and stuff. Then what color is it? Black and red. So how did it get upgraded though? Got one. Two is the House of Mirrors. Three is gonna be this one over here. Sausage for Scooby Doo. Yeah. And what's the last one? Oh, Scooby Snacks. Up. This one. Here we go. Okay, we found everything. A pickle. A oh, pickle. I thought it was a cabbage. Alright, let's cook some foods! Daggy! Get your dummy thick ass over here! Right there, old pal. Got 13 foods. Like it's about time! I'm starving! Bananas! A stroke of genius! Cotton candy! Now that should rush up this dish! I don't know why you I'm think like... So? Like, why not? Picking things out. Like, it doesn't matter what you pick. It's all going in. <laughs> ham? Like, it's my favorite! Ham's delicious. I miss ham. All done. And don't mind the color. Nothing tastes It like smells ham. delicious. Nothing. Some marshmallows for texture. 
The House of Mirrors. We're not ending. We're doing the boss fight. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh no. That was right. There you are, Scooby Doo. Hi. Hi. Like I'm not going. Huh? What a strange face. <laughs> He's so pointy looking. Hi. Thanks, Scooby-Doo. I owe you one. You're well. Maybe the guitar ghoul knows where Jed is. I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> Welcome! Hey, I wrote high. a little something just oh, you're for so you. Let's see if you can survive it. Oh. Oh, I remember this fight. Oh, I love unique boss fights like this. This is cool. You can't escape my wrath. You can run, but you can't hide. Yeah, hit him in the face. Look at that. Oh, oh, I don't really that. Oh, oh, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Oh, that hurt. A little bit, yeah. Oh, boy, look at that. Oh, I jumped, but it's not fast enough. There we go. Oh, I forgot we can double jump. And still, like, do the spinning attack. Alvin Wiener? Oh, reverse him? You can't oh, prove well, anything. Never mind. Besides, I was wrong. I'm the victim here. What do you mean? Daphne, what we have before us is a story of jealousy. Mr. Wiener's band, Deaf Potato, was never a real success. He blamed his failure on the guitar ghoul, whom he saw as a rival. Wait, so like, you blamed yourself? Not quite. <laughs> he was offered a way to destroy the guitar ghoul, literally from the inside. All he needed was this costume. Scooby? Mubber! Of course! 
Who gave you that costume, Mr. Wiener? They didn't offer their name. Just a chance for revenge. By sabotaging the Guitar Ghoul's popular theme park. And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it hadn't been for you meddling kids. So, who's the real ghoul? And why is he hiding? Not he. She! Oh, it's both of them. Of course. Yeah, Velma's right. I am the real guitar ghoul. But why the secret identity? I wanted to share my music, not my life. So I created the guitar ghoul disguise. Perhaps this uh, could remain our little secret, huh? Like our lips are sealed. Thanks, I appreciate it. In exchange, I've got some information which you might find interesting. Oh, they're not made out of wood. Okay. It was just uh, the costume. Okay, we got all the trap pieces. Like, what what happens with those? What do we do with the trap pieces? Harem, scarum at the museum. Harum, scarum. Anyways, that was the amusement park in Scooby Doo Unmasked. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. In the next one, we're going to the museum. Isn't that neat? I need to save. We'll we'll watch the trailer. The, the, we'll watch that in the next one. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video.